loving people, not being rude, nasty, impolite, discouraging. That's not a character of God. That shows that you are walking on a road that will lead you to destruction as it did Judas. It shows that you are walking on a road that may suggest that you're truly not born again. Because the human nature is not supposed to be ruling your state of mind or your life. It says, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If thirsty, give him a drink. In so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 9 through 21. You see, in many cultures, the symbolism behind heaping coals on an enemy's head represents purification, refining, or even shame when you're loving those that are hating you, when you're being nice to those who are being rude to you, when you're helping those who refuse to help you but constantly seek to pull you down. In this heaping the coals on people's head, it's, it can be interpreted as a way of bringing about a sense of remorse or conviction in the adversary. The significance of this phrase lies in the transformative power of responding to hostility with love and compassion and challenges, individ it challenges individuals to rise above the natural instinct to retaliate and instead respond with grace and mercy. That's the whole purpose of love. God allows these situations to happen because he's expecting you to rise above it. He's expecting you to still be who God has created you to be. Not to look for justifiable reasons to support your fallen behavior. Just like the sacrifices that the people made in the old covenant, these situations allow you to see whether you have been delivered uh, from the sin. Whether you truly are washed pure. Or are you still struggling with the things that Jesus died to set us free from? Which we can only be free through practice. This approach has the potential to disarm hostility, promote reconciliation, and demonstrate the transformative nature of love and forgiveness. You have to keep in mind, God died for that individual as well.